Alright, welcome to the Adventures of Taj through Retail WoW Dragonflight. I'm usually a classic Andy. This is my first video on Dragonflight slash on WoW in general because like I just be slacking on content. But I've been playing retail for, uh, I don't know, a couple of weeks now, or, uh, I think I was like a week late to the release and I like don't play retail at all. I play only classic. I got Scarab Lord on the server Thunder Fury. Um, it's been a fun few years of grinding on that game. Um, but yeah, so we've been playing Dragonflight just because Wrath has been a little bit uh, stale lately and Dragonflight's been pretty hype. And I was trying to figure out ways to make uh, a bunch of gold uh, without too much effort, right? Like, like, that's the dream. That's the dream. Um, and, uh... And so I've been like watching a bunch of different videos, just trying to look up hella different ways to make gold and whether or not like leveling up professions is the way I even leveled up my enchanting up to like 60 so far, but it's been a struggle um, making any type of gold. Um, I was farming like those knolls that were dropping, uh, like the tough jerky or whatever the, whatever it's called. That was, that was all right. <clears throat> um, but in classic, I I like to use the auction house and I like to flip things, and that's always usually like the best way to make gold. But you need a bunch of gold to make gold, in that in that way, um, unless you can find like the really cheeky uh, farms. So I found this video by Solheim the other day. Um, Did I? And it's uh oh yeah, it's this video where he uh, says he makes one hundred thirty thousand gold in five minutes doing this farm. So I have to give credit to him. Slash, I've seen videos earlier videos from other people. I think now like after doing even more research. So there's definitely other people that have done this stuff. Um, and I went off of Solheim's uh, uh, video, and it's basically, uh, it's the fish farm. Uh, I was, what was I trying to call it? The tuna flip? The tuna flip sandwich? This has been a, a funny farm, and it reminds me of like the, the pygmy sucker fish flip that I did on classic on wrath classic just recently where I made a ton of gold off of pygmy sucker fish because of fishing, but I didn't even have fishing in retail. I literally didn't have any professions. I was super lazy and leveling up <coughs> to level 70. Um, and I barely finished like the campaign quest. I like just finished it recently to unlock the world quest. Cause I'm trying to like level up enchanting and I guess you need like the renown bull crap like there's so much crap right so i was trying to find a farm that like skipped all of that stuff and and this is this is it for now uh, it's not it's nothing too crazy right now because it got nerfed recently it was super crazy supposedly before i got to it supposedly you were getting um so basically we're chasing dark moon cards uh in a sense we're chasing these bundles that drop from fishing um and they can give you a chance at dark moon cards and we're actually just send selling the bundle you know you don't know what dark moon card you get i think it gives you two dark moon cards um and you can get the ace which most most aces like the new dragonfly aces are going for like 50k each but it's only the aces that are going for like 50k plus right um so it's just a chance at that um, it's kind of sketchy, but selling the bundle, you can actually sell those for like, um, right now on our server, they're going for like 
uh, I forget, is it like 3K, almost 3.5K now? Like it, the price is changing. It was 2.5K like yesterday. Now it's like 3.5K. It's changing because of how hard the farm is actually to, to do. Um, but here, let me log into these things and check out if any of them are ready. Um, as you can see, I've got mail waiting on all my characters because I think I was selling, I've been selling all the profit, all the materials that I'm getting from the farm on each of those characters. And basically I had to make a ton of alts. The best alts for this are, I think, Torrens. I'm on Horde side. On Alliance, I think it would be Human, you know, because you're right next to Stormwind. Um, this one would be Torrin because you're right next to Thunder Bluff. And you just run over here. Oh yeah, these are ready. <clears throat> you just run over here and uh, you set your alt up. I was, I'm using these what wilder cloth bags that were super cheap, but they give you 32 slots. So like, dude, like you're filling up your bank, like you can make it an alt with a full bank. And then also with like the regent thing. So like, like you have, like you get so much space already. All right, and so basically, these are the end product, the Rotten Rhyme Fin Tuna, and when you consume them, you have a chance of getting um, four different types of drops. So it's either the Maybe Meat, the Rousing Frost, the Rousing Decay, or the um, the Dark Moon card bundles. Um, what are they actually called? The Soggy clumps of dark moon cards <clears throat> so i like to just bind these spam this shit and base overlook oh my god we got lucky uh, already off the rip it's nice to see them you see one like early on in the in the the consume oh my god two already uh the consuming of them because i feel like it usually means that that you know group of cards or i mean fish is pretty good um but this farm, some people were saying, Solheim in his video was saying that he was averaging um, one of these clumps per seven fish, right? Um, and as you can see on the auction house, this is saying it's averaging about 3,100 gold each. Um, so per seven is, is insane because these go for, you can buy these straight up off the auction house right now on my server for about 80 gold each, or I think they dropped down to 65 gold today. And I don't know, I can actually check um, right now. <clears throat> but um, but if you get them, if you get a 3,100 gold thing for seven of these fish that costs like, 80 g each i mean you're making like 2000 gold just off of that like um and but that was before the nerf right so your chances were much higher to get this now it's a lot lower um i got very lucky just now i'm getting very lucky but i, I don't even know honestly it, it's like a very it's a weird rng because sometimes i'll go through like 500 fish and i won't get a single uh uh soggy clump and then sometimes I'll go through 500 fish and I'll get, and I, I've gotten, I think, nine or 10 clumps is my highest so far. All right, so this, the, th the, the thing about these fish though, is that they're kind of hard to open because when you, oh, when you are, see, as you can see, like they aren't stacked and that's for a reason because um, the rhyme fin tuna is actually made from, uh, The Rhyme Ventuna is made from the frozen version of it. Um, <clears throat> this is the rotten version of it, right? And then there's the regular version of it where it's thawing and you use that for cooking. Here, let me show you guys. Just type in tuna, literally. <clears throat> And these are the ones, this is the final product, right? 76 gold each right now. And um, the frozen ones are actually going for 44 G each on my server right now. Um, 
but basically you have to buy this <clears throat> and then you when you consume that frozen version of it you use it just right click it you can be any level to do this right so you can even do it on your alts that's kind of the idea right and then this tuna takes one hour to defrost into this 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 version of it is the cooking um is the cooking um uh, region this oh, is just the random one i just trolled so hard oh my god but as you can see like i just trolled right now like that a stack of 350 because i right clicked it that whole stack of 350 got got consumed because there's a trick to it you have to um you have to consume them you have to unstack them in a, in a special way i'll do it on my next one but that i just lost like literally that was like 10 10 15k gold right there so you have to be super careful when you're unloading these, when you're, when you're unconsuming them. I'll show you guys the trick. Good God, and I'm trolling. That's the second time that I've done that. So, so like you have them. So I have them already set up, unstacked in my inventory here, which is good. And you can just do them straight up like this. You don't have to worry about them consuming badly because they aren't stacked. But when I unload them, <clears throat> so the trick is you need to have Addy bags because I can right click on the whole section of the fish, right? And it will actually unload that entire thing into my inventory. Um, you can't do that on the regular inventory. Uh, I don't even think you can do that with like, um, like other bag add-ons or i don't know if you can but there might be a way but this is the way that i've found that is the fastest but i i did just troll myself by uh fucking consuming all 300 of those just now but it was a good example of like what you can do wrong and how like this farm is actually there's like different levels of difficulty to it and which is kind of why uh, i think you can make gold off of it if you do it correctly all right, so we got to be careful here, right? We have our 350. If I were to right click this straight up, it would burn all 350 and I would only get one of the consumes on this. Fucking it's such it's a, the dumbest bug on this um item ever. So you basically lose out on so three I lost out on 350 Rhyme Ventuna just now. Um and each of these are selling, you saw in the AH, you can sell these for straight up 75 gold each. So 350 times 75 gold, that's literally like 5k gold, right? And that's just the tuna itself, if I were to sell it straight up. But you can get the, the Dark Moon cards from it. Or wait, is that, no wait, 75 each? No wait, that's more, that's a 21k gold I'm trolling, sorry, 5k gold. What the fuck am I talking about? I'm still thinking in classic terms. I'm not used to how much gold there is in this game. Um, but yeah, so basically the trick to do to, to make sure that doesn't happen, right, is you got to shift click and you do 349. So you do the entire amount minus one. So there's one left in here. You move this. So you have the 349 here The just the one is sitting there, right? You can consume that one. And now this stack should be ready to go and should be able to consume it regularly and it's going to start giving you the full amount so isn't that crazy how like that one simple tiny mistake that i just did cost me that entire stack of 300 fucking tuna that's crazy but it was also a good example of uh what can kind of go wrong in this farm if you're not careful i gotta really stop doing that because that's the second time that i've done that on a full stack of I would say 300. I think I did it on a stack of 200 last time. But yeah, so basically, you just you spam this shit now. You're good to go. You got your full, um, you got all your guys here that have been defrosting for the last hour. It takes one hour from the defrost when you buy them and you unstack them, right? So you have to unstack them 
to start defrosting them. That's why they have to stay unstacked at first. <clears throat> so we got one soggy clump right here, which is pretty good. It's not just a soggy clump though that is actually worth gold. So as you can see, we're getting the rising decay and we're also getting the rising ice. Both are actually worth quite a bit of gold. And even the meat isn't you know bad. You're still making some gold on the meat too. Especially if like, you're smart about how you're selling this stuff. Um, so here, look, we got a hundred rising decay. We were at what I have had maybe 400 fish. You turn these all into awakened decay. Because they usually go for more as awakened because people are lazy and they don't buy the the lesser version and just make the awaken themselves so these are going for 988 g each that's already 10k gold just from the awaken decay right that's not even the dark moon cards that you're getting right so and these usually are going for 225 on our server mm -mm. so the way that i see it is um, on my server, I'm buying the tunas for about 50 G each, right? Let's say on average. Um, this is specifically for my server, Illidan. I know the price is a lot different on, a di on different servers, but due to the nerf, I think the price on the tuna is actually falling on a lot of servers as well. Um, but I saw in his video, Sol on Solheim's video, they were pushing the 200 G already. Um, so... Basically, the way that I do the math on this is I'm I'm consuming about 500 fish per alt. 500 times 50 is 25k gold, right? 25k gold per alt. So every 500 fish, I need to beat 25k gold, I would say, on average. If I'm lucky, I will get the stack of 500 for like 24k, 20k gold, 20k gold if it's down to like 40g. I've seen them actually drop down to 35 gold today or yesterday. You know, people were selling them very cheap. So as you see from that 500 fish, about 500 fish, I don't know, I think, give or take, we already got, this is also, this is like, I would say an average pile of loot that we just got, very average. Uh, three clumps of the Dark Moon cards is what you can probably expect. Um, like uh, like 17 awakened it's pretty good you know sometimes you can push over 20 something awakens depending on on your RNG sometimes you can get up to 10 soggy clumps sometimes you can get zero soggy clumps you know um, so it's a lot of RNG but like let's do the math here right the soggy clumps on my server are going for 3200 right now so just for those three that's already 10k Remember, we're trying to pass 25k gold. The Awakened Decay, this is uh, 17 of them. 17, 16k, so that's 26k. So we already broke even, right? So that one we broke even. That one's not like, you know, nothing crazy. But I did actually buy these fish for, I would say, about 40 gold each instead of like 50 gold. So, you know, it's still making, you know, a few thousand gold profit for just flipping items on the auction house. Like, that's the idea here, though. Like, even though I'm not making crazy profit, but I can sometimes. Uh, wait, how much did I just put these up for? Nine silver each. See, on the meat, you can actually be careful. You can sell the meat for, I would say on my server, you can sell it for 20 silver, but the each, like the price is so volatile. Like if you set it to a price that's like pretty close to the bottom, like, like it'll still sell. Like, like retail is such a crazy beast compared to classic because all the fucking, I think all the auction houses are combined. So it's just a bigger game, maybe, especially right now because of the hype, but like the items sell literally as soon as you put them on the auction house, like. There's like bots or people just like literally freaking buying things immediately. It's crazy. But yeah, so we put up about 30k gold of stuff. So we made 5k at least off of just that one character. Um, now, you know, you just move on to the next all and you just repeat 
rinse and repeat and sometimes you'll get luckier or you'll get less lucky and you'll make more or you'll you know get closer to breaking even but for the most part I got, if I'm doing it for about 50 gold each on the fish like I'm either breaking even or still like making I, I don't know honestly I, I think I'm making quite a bit of money like it's got to be close to almost two times profit like easily but it just depends on like your RNG and like your server prices um see if I have any let's check a character with maybe some gold sitting on it mm -mm. so this is like so we have this is about a hundred something fish in my inventory so literally you just get these four wilder cloth bags 32 slots each that's 122 slots just from the wilder cloth bags and then plus the backpack which is what like 12 or something so you have like 130 slots then in here there's like another 200 something and then you also get the regent bank this is like another hundred so there's like 350 130 yeah, it's about 500, right? At 500 fish um, on each alt if you do it this way. And the bags are costing like 100G each on my server. And you just, you buy the Regent, um, Regent Bank, which is like 100G. You, pe you buy all the bags and you just make these alts easily as fuck. And um, you just run them down here and you set this up on all your alts and you can just make like just easy gold by uh using the auction house well let's see if we can get a good uh batch here because it, it's tough like the rng like because of the nerf like we're definitely getting less like than one freaking soggy clump per seven fish right this one's off to a good start. We already got one, but as you can see, we already used a good 30 to 40 fish, right? Like, the, the, the nerf is real. This is no joke. You know, everybody in the comments on Solheim's video are saying that it got nerfed into the ground. So I can't even imagine um, if you were doing this before the nerf. Some people were saying that they just got um, max gold in the game literally in the first few days of release because of this. Addy bags is so cool. Like I've, I randomly discovered this that you can right click on the group, and literally just the whole thing gets emptied out into your inventory. And the same thing for putting it into the bank. You know, it's super helpful when you're doing this farm because you have to literally do defrost these things one by one. Um, you'll notice when you when you do it when you try this that. It's just completely different when you start using Addy bags. And then you gotta make sure you do that split, you know, and it's risky business, man. I still feel so sketched out whenever I do it, and like, I feel like I'm gonna just delete that whole 350. I still can't believe I just did that earlier. Oh my God, that was so bad. It's cause I was nervous about doing this video. Damn. All right, we got two soggy clumps. Mm -mm. yeah it takes an hour to defrost the fish that's like the biggest thing holding you back but like literally if you set this up on enough alts like realistically like it kind of takes you so much time to do it on each alt that like you know depending on what scale you want to do this at like you know th that time goes by very quickly and everything is selling immediately so it just feels like a constant farm at least for me because i'm using it now on like six different characters and you know they're pumping out gold here mm -mm. 
it just gets it, things get real juicy when you hit that one pack of 500 fish that gives you 10 soggy clumps of dark moon cards because that's literally what 30,000 gold and then you get you still get your 20,000 from the rousing decay so you're making like 30,000 on that 500 fish so like that's where like you know on average like like on average you might be thinking you're not you're making like maybe 20 to 30 percent but like then you'll hit like a huge you know batch that puts you like you know at maybe 50 percent or so you pro we're probably making i would say like a 50 like 150 percent profit right so like on average so this one we got almost 20 rousing decay it's 20k right there literally by itself so 30k and then this is going to be like 2k so like 32k so we probably made like 7k on this batch because we probably paid i'm i'm being generous here like i'm saying i paid 25k but realistically i probably paid for around around 40 gold for my fish each so we're probably paid more like 20k for that which is more like a 12k profit on that 20k so it's like like I said, 150%. And that's on like an average match. Um, let me put this stuff on the auction house. The price of these Dark Moon card bundles have been fluctuating between 2.5 and 3.5K today. But for the most part today, they were at like 3.5k. That's what I was selling most of my net, which is juicy. So here I like to just set it to 20. Like you see how these numbers are like pretty low. Like people will go through this very quickly and then they'll probably end up buying my net 20. 18k just for the rousing decay. 4k for the rousing frost underestimated earlier so in total it says 43k and they're already selling 43k k gold for a 20k gold investment so that's almost double right that's double profit right there 100 percent. yeah i'm being too uh i don't know i'm being too generous on my estimations because i don't want to you know have you guys do all this work and then not be making that much gold so just make sure to you know ex like if you're if the fish are at like 50 g on your server just expect you know at least like a 30 percent profit at least you know just for fucking flipping things on the age which i think is you know r cool because like you can do it on whatever scale you want right and it you know it is kind of annoying spamming these buttons sometimes but with the way that i have it set up with addy bags um and the shift click to split the because before the split to split the the rotten rhyme fin because before i was splitting them into packs of nine because i thought that like it was like if you had a stack above 10 then it would just delete the whole thing if you right clicked it but it's really that first stack is just glitched and you need to shift click the whole stack and kind of just change the stack i guess um it's just weird but that's kind of a yeah how i figured that out and it makes things a lot faster so addy bags shift click make sure the prices of everything are are good for you to make a profit and you should be chilling yeah, make sure your rousing decay, awaken decay pr prices are all up there, you know, and the price of the fish is down. Um, because there is a little bit of RNG to it. I, I, I will say, though, that if you do it at the prices that I have on my server that I've, uh, that I've illustrated here, then you'll probably make a good, decent profit just for flipping items on the auction house. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, I've been just trying to, this is uh, 
one of the ways that I figured out how to make some gold, I'm going to see what I can do with enchanting. Um, I'm going to use this gold that I've made from doing this to further level the enchanting. And um, I'm looking into the inspiration builds to get the extra procs on the the three tier items or whatever. So that should be interesting. I don't know. Arenas has been pretty cool. But yeah, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys uh, sub to the YouTube, sub to my Twitch, everything, all that should be in the bottom there. I'm going to have to edit this like crazy.